The future of the DNA modified in humans looks pretty grim at the moment. However, Black Bolt's recent appearance could be what Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige have been planning to do with this special group of people, and him being the one thing that the MCU needed to bring the rest of the royal family to, but in a more distant future. That is, if the MCU does not include them in the upcoming Fantastic Four movie, to whom Black Bolt and the others have a close connection to in the comics. The altered human beings of the Marvel Universe are coming to the MCU, there's no doubt about it, as for how long we'll have to wait for it to happen. We still don't know and whether we're going to get them as a result of experiments done on themselves or by their ancestors, the extraterrestrial race known as Kree, a race that has already stepped their foot in the MCU. The Kree manipulated their generic code and the result meant that these humans with this genetic Kree DNA became known as the Inhumans when they undergo a process called Terragenesis, a genetic mutation triggered when an Inhuman is exposed to a mist produced by the so-called Terragen Crystals which would then ultimately grant them superhuman abilities. And before we move forward, with our take on the Inhumans, what Marvel could do with them and what their future in the MCU would and could look like, we're gonna reflect upon some rumors that suggest an Inhumans reboot of sorts is already being developed at Marvel Studios. Please note that this is just a rumor, speculation that could turn out to be true or not. Nevertheless, keep one eye open for any new confirmations regarding the project and don't take our word for it just yet and if it eventually does come this rumor to be true, then you'd have heard the news here for the first time. No. These are important news given that we just got our first official sighting of an Inhuman in the MCU, despite Black Bolt not belonging to the main timeline in which all of the previous movies belong. That is the Earth 616, with Black Bolt's origins coming from another universe, the Earth 838, with him being part of the infamous Illuminati group. The Doctor Strange sequel was the bringer of good news, with the King of Atalan probably being the main and the only reason we needed to start speculations about Kevin Feige's plans and that he's open to the group of Terrigen missed empowered super beings to start appearing in the near future, and in a couple of years time for us to get an Inhumans reboot, the most logical step Marvel Studios needs to make. The other important thing to note is the fact that outside of Anson Mount's Black Bolt appearance, the increased usage of the Disney Plus platform by Marvel Studios towards introducing a huge range of new characters that are all part of the MCU, which could also be the case for the Inhumans, with few of them starting out their journey at the Disney Plus streaming platform and then joining the live action. And while we're at the Disney Plus side of things, according to our predictions, it'll be the streaming platform that will likely introduce the next group of Inhumans to the MCU, judging by the last time we saw them in the Inhumans TV show that was supposedly going to be a project of the MCU's Phase 3 but was reimagined into a series that had no connection whatsoever to the MCU. Created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, then humans proved to be one of the oddballs in the Marvel Universe. However, they're not less important than any of the other Marvel superheroes. The most famous list of humans in the Marvel Universe all stem from the so-called royal family and it includes the likes of Black Bolt, Medusa, Gorgon, Karnak, Crystal, Triton, Lockjaw and Maximus the Mad, who are all born with a special DNA when compared to the other Inhumans in the Marvel Universe. And while there was a time when the Inhumans were placed as major players in the MCU, their standing nowadays is significantly more tenuous. And with that in mind, do these characters have a bright future in the MCU, or will they be relegated to some side character position we have yet to see? But whatever the case may be, we think that even though they're long coming, we'll get their say in things moving forward. As we said before, the only dive the MCU made towards the Inhumans is through Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, where Anson Mount's Black Bolt was a member of the Earth 838's Illuminati group, who was described by Earth 616's Mordo as the keeper of the Terrigen Mists and the Inhuman King. Sadly, the character received a messy end when Wanda made his mouth disappear, causing him to scream in panic, using his powerful voice, and vaporized his skull. If we're talking about the plans that were once a serious thing regarding the Inhumans, then they've been part of the general MCU continuity for quite a while now. The Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. series brought the Inhumans to the fold in its second season with many important characters from the series developing superhuman abilities due to the process we mentioned before. Terragenesis So given that now defunct Marvel Television was behind the two series, 
this and the Inhumans one, and the two were run separately from what Marvel Studios has cooked up. Their placement in the MCU would simply not fit at all, with the reboot of Swords being the best possible solution we can think of, something that Marvel Studios could already be thinking of based on the rumors we were able to hear around three or four months ago. So with this in mind, how could Marvel bring the Inhumans to the MCU, given all the details so far not working in their favor, especially the fact that they're probably not Marvel's priority at the moment, with the X-Men franchise possibly having the upper hand over them as the next powerhouse to join the wider MCU. So to be more specific, we're talking about the Inhuman royal family and the civilization they rule over, and with that in mind, let's continue. One interesting way in which the MCU could introduce the royal family would be to make them major players in the MCU's cosmic realm. Now, this is somewhat similar to what the Eternals were presented, but going by the notion of the Inhumans already being part of a fair share of cosmic events in the comics, and taking in consideration that Earth might get overpopulated with superpowered folks, the MCU could easily have the royal family follow their footsteps from the comics and place them in their capital city of Atalan to either the blue area of the moon or even a different corner of the galaxy. And then for them to be involved with events that could also include the species like the Skrulls, the Kree, or even Shi'ar, who have yet to be introduced in the MCU and the Inhumans serving as their way to join the MCU. The other less wanted way of how the Inhumans could work in the MCU would be for them to be supporting characters rather than put in the center, with their arrival coming as soon as the upcoming Fantastic Four movie, with whom the royal family has close ties to in the comics from the 1960s. In the end, the thing we're trying to say is that the Inhumans don't have the standing they had back in the day, especially not within the MCU. However, this doesn't mean that there would not be a place or time given to them in order to shine in the live action once again. As for now, we'll have to be patient and simply be content with Black Bolt's minor appearance with him possibly being the one to bring the rest of the Inhuman royal family to the wider MCU sometime in the future. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, now that one Inhuman, their leader from the Marvel Comics has made an appearance, Black Bolt, which other members of the Inhumans would you like to see make an appearance next? and for them to eventually become featured in a standalone project of their own, outside of taking part in the other MCU projects in the near future. But also don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.